Hello, so I'm back here in as promised. Uh, this is a continuation of the video. How do you successfully network to land the next row as an executive? So the previous video, I have given you the full theory and some storytelling, some ideas. Now let me give you the demonstration. So how do you go in LinkedIn to actually identify target companies and who are the people in those companies so you can actually start infiltrating to those companies and network. So let's go into the demonstration. I'll share my screen. Here we are. So now we are on LinkedIn and I will show you so how you do that. So here we go. This is your LinkedIn homepage. You're gonna click inside of the search button. You're gonna select always people. Now again, we're back to the CRM of LinkedIn. Now let's add some companies. So let's say we're talking about uh, the examples. Let's say we are looking for FMCG, Pepsi. Let's say Coca-Cola. Uh, let's put some um, uh, other beverage companies. Uh, let's add one more. Let me say Heineken. <laughs> it's the weekend. Here we go. So just example. Now, when I do this exercise alone, LinkedIn will start showing to me all the people that are possibly connected to me directly or indirectly. The very first thing is say, wow, 266,000 people. This is a lot to go through indeed. That's why we have filters. So we can start adding some locations. So let's say that you're looking for a job in one of those companies, and it could be United Arab Emirates for the sake of the example, or it could be United Kingdom. Now, from 266,000, we have 8,700 people. Here we go. Some interesting names already. Job titles. You see what I mean? When you look from your side, you're going to have different names in your order, in your pipeline. And this is because LinkedIn will identify your kind of job. So let's say you are in sales. It will probably show you first the people in the department of sales. For me, because I have my profile as a career advisor, some connection with HR, they will show to me all the HR people, all the recruiters. But this is how you do that. Now, when I do that, I said, hang on, a lot of people, let me see first if I know anybody in first level connection. Ah, now I have 13 people, much easier to absorb. So I said, hang on, first level connections. Do I actually know any of those people personally? And then if I'm the person trying to reach out to one of these companies, I'm going to say, well, it does happen that I only am a connection on LinkedIn. I have never met them personally. So I cannot go and, for instance, approach Murat and say, hey, Murat, it's been a while. Well, it's been a while. When did I meet you? Maybe in a parallel reality. Indeed, I would not gain traction this way. So in this case, let's identify my second level connections. Now, I'm looking at second level connections. Which, which means who are the people that are my second level because I know people in common. And if I say, wait, first, I'm, first of all, wow, that would be global talent acquisition at Pepsi. Would be, let's say, a right person to gain some infiltration, to gain some referral. But if I just go to her, you know what? I fall into the HR loophole because I'm a stranger to Zahra Sheikh. Sorry, my pronunciation. But I say, hang on, I do know 358 people in common, but do I actually know them? So let's identify. So I go here and I say, hang on, oh, 191 results of the people that I have visibility to. Another day I tell you why LinkedIn told me 358 and now only 191, it's another conversation. But I can see 191 people in common to me, to this global talent acquisition person in a company of target for the hypothetical example. And then I say, do I actually know any of them? And I'll be frank with you as I go through it. I would say, hang on, anybody here? Not on page one. Then I go on page two. And then I say, wow, how many? Oh, I know somebody. Yes. So this is an acquaintance to me, somebody very dear to me, by the way. And I can easily say, hey, Nick is connected to this lady. You know what? Let me schedule a call with Nick. Let me schedule a coffee. It depends how well you know the person. You will know what's a comfortable situation. So because I know him very well, I can say, hey, Nick, drop a WhatsApp message. Hey, I have something to talk to you about. 
when can we meet for a coffee? I prefer to do this face to face. But if it's somebody I know a little bit less, I say, hey, Nick, uh, you know, uh, would be lovely to have a quick chat with you, something in my mind I need to ask you. I need to pick your brain on something. People love being advisors. So if you say, I need to pick your brain on something, everybody's ready to meet and give full advice mentorship. It, it feels good, right? <laughs> so in this case, you're going to reach out to the common connection. And then after scheduling a call, say, hey, let me tell you what's going on. Have the brainstorm. How is family? How is you know, situation in your house and, you know, how is everything? Normal conversation you would have with somebody, you know. And then say, hey, remember I said I had something to talk about. Let me tell you what it is. So basically I decided to look for a new opportunity and I'm looking, one of the companies of my target is uh, Pepsi or whatever company that was, it was Pepsi. So one of my current, uh, my companies of target is Pepsi. And I noticed when I was doing my little research on LinkedIn, you actually seem to be a first level connection of the person. How well do you know that person? If he says to me, hey, I know this person very well. Let me help you out. Send me the CV. Thank you very much. You gain referral. If you say, well, look, I barely know the person. But, you know, I don't mind if you want to reach out to yourself and say, hey, use my name as somebody who referred you. I will confirm if she comes back to me. So gain that strategy from the person. Don't, don't by any chance say, can you introduce me? Because you put people on a spot, right? So here we go. So that's how you're going to do that. Uh, go back to our original list. Actually, what I would say, always do a something I will show you now. Always do a right click. So let's say if I want to know who is the common uh, connection, just do a right click, for instance, like this. This way, you don't lose your search. You know? And I would say, you know what? You don't need to do everything in one day. Go and save on your browser. And basically, that's how you do it. Now, this is based on the fact that you know first level or second level connection to try to gain some referral, some infiltration into the company. But if you absolutely don't know that person and this person is not an HR, don't try to network with people. Anybody who has an HR title, they'll say, come on, I'm an HR, you're looking for a job. Even if you say, I'm not, I swear. No, no, they're not good by you. So let's say we are going to identify now only CEO, go in the all futures, put in the, the title CEO and then click here. Now I have 39 key hot leads. It's my pipeline for those four companies we listed here in those two locations. And now guess what? Now it's a little bit easier the approach. Hey, now guess what? Let's say that I'm really keen to go to London and I want to actually try to infiltrate and connect with the CEO at Pernod Ricard, one of my target companies. Now, if I just go to David, uh, he's going to say, hey, who is this person? You know, like, why should I entertain? I'm busy. I'm a CEO. Or maybe he's not even going to see a message. But if I realize I have shared connections and if I actually do happen to know them, remember the right click. Say, hey, how well do I know any of those guys? Well, in my case, I really don't know. Maybe I exchanged some words with Michael Merrill at some stage. But it's not like I really know somebody that well, right? So then I cannot say, hey, I want to talk to you. I have something and then try to gain infiltration because I already don't know that person. It doesn't make sense, right? So in this case, if I knew well, it's the same exercise. Schedule a call, Zoom call, phone call, face-to-face, -face, and then explore the potentials. Now, going back to this search. Now, if you actually say, hey, guess what? I really want to connect with David. Uh, I don't know. I don't know anybody in common. You know what? Ah, now we go into the powerful exercise of networking as a total stranger. So I ask my, I excuse myself here to use this profile as an example because it's a LinkedIn public profile. So if I am to try to reach out to him and I say, okay, first, let me try. How can I prepare my message? Let me learn everything. Learn everything about the company. Learn everything about this person. Look at their profile in depth. See what their interests anything they commented uh, recently and refer back to it, right? And then do the approach of, you know what? I was on LinkedIn, I bumped into your profile. I've been following Pernod Ricard for the last few years. It's a company actually I quite admire of my interest. And by the way, I've been doing something uh, very similar to uh, what you guys are planning to do. Maybe you read something, again, the example of going to digital transformation. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and then go back to my other video where I give all the theory about what you need to say. But here we go. That's how you infiltrate 
companies. This is how you use LinkedIn on your benefit to actually jump queues and thousands and kilometers of queues of people trying to go to companies just by saying, hey, here is my CV. Now you one to one with that person. Now, if you say, hey, come on, who told me that I do this today and the CEO is going to respond? No, there is no guarantees. But if you don't do anything, you're guaranteeing the no. Now, if you approach, you're guaranteeing the maybe. That's guaranteed. It's a maybe, right? There is a no, it's logical. However, what changes here to get results is literally by do this every day. It becomes your second nature. Become a networker. If you're going to approach 100 people and maybe 10 people will respond to you, it's already a good conversion. So it's important the, the value, the volume, this ongoing consistency. You're going to love doing this. I hope that was useful to you. Please remember to drop your notes, all your questions, all your queries. I'll make sure to make a new video to respond, all the burning questions and desires. And I'll try to address to my best. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you very soon.